Greetings, Commanders. This is Buck Rabbit, and this is Elite Chronicles. Today, we're going to be doing some money earning. Do some cargo running, and get enough, hopefully, for a Cobra at the end of it. So let's check out Starbolt Services and the Mission Board. See what cargo run is available. So we've got four units of agro medicines, four units of agro medicines, and we can actually each carry uh, ten tons of cargo right now because I reconfigured the sidewinder for cargo. So I'll accept that one. You do have to remember to collect the items. Press. So we will actually get the other one as well, because they're both to the same location. So we'll set that one as well. Collect the items, and we should be ready to go. And we'll go to the galaxy map via the transactions. just set our location straight away using the link circles. Let's get out of here. I've still got all the long trauma sidewinder. As you become more experienced as a pilot, you'll be able to just fly straight out of the slot. But for now, let's just use the auto, auto launch. Just enjoy the, enjoy the view. Look around, see what the station we're in, see the style, because they don't vary in style. Once we're out, we start scanning ships. The reason we do this is to get data scans. They have to be directly in front of you. There you go, we've got an anonymous bulk scan data. And this will be used for engineering later. I'm going to stay away from engineering to begin with. I'm not in any hurry to advance this account. I kind of did it in my main account, Kane and Ray. I just wanted the Corvette and nothing was going to get in my way. <laughs> but, <laughs> swear things. So we're just going to earn some money here. I did some comparisons with other potential ships to advance to, but really, the Cobra is the one to get next. In my opinion, it carries more, it has more weapon points, and on the whole, it's a much more versatile ship for a beginner to use. Uh, we need to get to Kobo. So now we need to point ourselves at a full white circle, stick it in the middle of the red skull, to the left of the hub. Again, we're going to scan ships on the way. Let's see if we can get some scans. And we want the bottom number to be 007. So we're just going to vary our speed here. And we could have got an adder, we could have got a hauler. Honestly, probably better off waiting until you can afford a Cobra. I've done some missions, so my bank balance is a little bit bigger than what this one mission will do. I'm having a fight. Combat vessels are especially good to get. That's a good scan on. So that gives you a specific type of scan. Swing out from the planetary body. 
so we don't get caught up in its gravity well. There's Kolo slightly behind it, so we're going to swing him from the left here. see that your approach is slightly faster. You see that I'm actually going to arrive before those lights, and those lights are ships. They're not comets. Which I thought they were. <laughs> I first begun. I thought, well, there's a lot of comets in this system. But no, they're ships. Ring. You can fly through the ring if you really want to, but it's not a hula hoop. Get within 7.5k and request docking. Hopefully, auto dock won't smash me into the ring like it did last night. Uh, but it might do. Ooh. You are going to clang me into it, aren't you? That was close. Hopefully by the end of this session we should be able to avoid the Cobra. It's just a question of getting their money. I actually need something in the region of 350,000 credits. Which is actually easily done. Just transferring cargo. And I'm going to show you a little trick when we get in here. it, eventually you'll be able to replicate the moments for yourself. But there's no rush. And we'll take care of business here, we'll refill, repair and restock, and go to the mission board and deliver the agri-medicines. Deliver, confirm, get money. Do this one as well. Deliver all the bits. Complete. Get the money. You see, my current balance is 218,000 credits. So, to make sure that we keep going, what we're going to do is actually go back. What we could do is actually deliver these. The seven units of coffee to Otogy is quite good. It's 34,000. But again, I'm going to show you this little trick. And we're going to go back to Drogi, but we're going to first off visit the commodities market. Now, according to this, profit if sold at Morton Dock. And that's where we're going to go. So, according to this, if we take animal meat buy as much as we can, we will get a significant profit. Cargo hold at maximum so that's what capacity. we're going to do. Now this is just us trading, and trading is a thing that we can do without a mission. So we're going to go back to Drome. There it is, Dromey. Set the course. And there we go. just want to ferry stuff between two stations and systems, then that's the easiest way of doing it. Take missions at one, deliver them, and take commodities back, but never fly empty, that's the point. If you're running cargo, you never want your ship to be empty. Again, put scanning 
ships are in front of us. Hopefully we can get a good scan out of this one. You can stop the auto launch by just applying a bit of acceleration. We're out of my slot, so now we can jump. Frameshift drive charging. scanner as soon as we arrive so we can collect the data to sell later on back to Morse of Dock yeah I removed the super cruise assist because I needed the space for cargo basically stripped the sidewinder so it could carry nothing but cargo the maximum we come up with is 10 tons. So it's quite a small ship. Which is fine. You know, it's free. It's a loner. Can't really expect much when you first start a game. Of course, the other thing is if you get interdicted and destroyed, you will always have a side one. Again, we're going to swing out to the left, just so we avoid the gravity well of the moon. Come out from the top. Make sure we've got the station selected on approach. It doesn't matter, but it's always nice to see if you can spot where the slot is. Zero your throttle. Whether or not the computer appreciates this, who can say? Services. Landing successful. See, go to the commodities market and then sell animal meat. And that will give us 5,000 credits profit. So our balance is now 224. Next thing we do, we'll go to the mission board again. Starting to get less delivery missions. But there are a couple of courier missions coming up. And a salvage mission. That 
we'll stick with the delivery missions for now. So, deliver five units of basic medicines for 25,000. Correct. Correct. What we will see. That was to matter. So we'll see if there's anything else. Salvage operation. I think we need a better ship for that type of thing. We've also got a courier job. But we'll leave that for now. And just deliver what we've got. And what we can do, in addition to that, we go to attack. You can actually see the prices over on the right hand side here. So we're looking at consumer technology, and there is actually a profit with consumer technology. So we'll take some of those over. We'll top up the rest of the rest of our cargo. Cargo hold. Transactions. Open Galaxy Map. Plot the course. And exit. Off we go again. It's a lot of touring and throwing. But you don't strictly need to do it between two stations. What you can do is a chain of stations and systems. So what we'll do is a chain on the next one. I think that's a Cobra. Let's have a little check. And a Dolphin. Ship spotting for the guns. It's all good. So we can get scanned to scan. Okay. Why are we not going in to target that guy in front? And these other guys must be in front. Not to accept. Just line up that circle. We are now on the mass lot. And we can engage the friendship drive. Friendship drive charging. Scan the system. Move away from the big burning blow plasma. Navigation. Decided whether or not to go for an Asp Explorer after the Cobra or a Diamondback Explorer. Both have their merits, but we'll see. Think about it. See so, where we go after that. But it's definitely Cobra next. We 
these out. Swing out underneath. Keep it double oh seven for as long as we can. on the white dot next to the HUD and the hologram. Let's see if we can almost come up from beneath the station. Not that there's any sort of beneath, because there's no up in space. It's just space. Looks like we're going to come in across the edge. No. I personally think the trade running is that it's really relaxing. It's almost as relaxing as mining. But we'll investigate mining up in another episode. Lovely. If you guys have got any suggestions on how I can improve my videos, then uh, please put it in the comments below. Because I'm really just starting the YouTube thing, so there's anything I can do to improve it, just throw me a comment. There's a good chance I don't talk to you. I have to stop services. Landing complete. Dispatching ground crew. Welcome, Commander. First thing we do is the missions, obviously. So we deliver. Sometimes that gets stuck, you just need to give it another tap. It's not 25,000. Then we'll go to the commodities market and sell our consumer technology. So we're getting 3,390 profit. It's not bad. So we've now got 252. So this time what we're going to do, we're going to check the mission board and we're going to take cargo missions to other places. So we've got four units of coffee to deliver and we're going to add to G. Now we, because they're both going to the same destination, we can actually take both of these. So we can set that, collect the cargo. So it's plus and click again. And then we'll take this other one as well. So mineral oil. Accept. Collect. So we've got eight tons of cargo. Could do. Buy some other bits to take to Otogy. Like they really want to take anything. Yeah, we could take tobacco. That's worth some money. So we'll just top up with a couple of tons of tobacco. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. And off we go. The Galaxy Transactions, Galaxy Map, Open Galaxy Map, a lot of cool stuff to Jean. There's a couple of jumps actually. Yeah, two jumps to Dr. Jean. I yeah, need to uh, refuel. Don't forget to refuel. We do not have a fuel scoop on board. So let's get going.
Ah, the majestic Type 9. Huge, handles like a cow. But, carries so much cargo. We're waiting for the big fat Type 9 to get out of the way. Look around your cockpit. Usually it's uh, mouse three. Just click the pinwheel. Can sit down though. You can see your feet. And if you've got VR, all of these panels pop up if, as you look in that direction. Okay, let's get out of here. We've got a couple of jumps to do. Get back to Dromi. So let's fly at home. Which is good because uh, the likelihood is we can pick up missions on Stuni to go to Dromi. And these are all in the protected systems. Too close to the sun when you jump, otherwise you're just over here. You won't explode. I mean, in fact, I've never exploded from that, but it really doesn't like it. harder to get to because they're usually in rings. signal sources. We'll deal with those in a different episode. If you do go a little bit too fast, what you want is dip your nose, come back up, and you should have enough time to stop there, or slow down. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But if you're going to overshoot, it's worth a go. This moon does actually have rings, but they're very, very, very opaque. And they're very pretty, but they're very thin. I hit them. 
quite happily. Look how flimmer, how opaque those are. could be doing is courier missions, because courier missions don't actually take any cargo space, so we could be picking up courier missions at the same time, but rather than confuse the issue, I'm just using it to go for missions. Stocking. So, yes. so this station is basically being made from a hollowed out asteroid. Which is one of the methods that was suggested. And they said, oh yeah, let's go out into the universe. But how will we build space stations? Well, let's just hollow out an asteroid. Probably less work than building the entire station. And this one is under construction. You can see all the construction happening. They're working on the bays and the lifts. I don't actually know if these have less docks than a normal station. Services. Docking complete. Commence power down. Sell the stuff Station first. Sell this tobacco. There you go. Thousand credits profit. Just for two tons. And we we'll go deliver the four units of coffee. Probably gets it stuck. I'll we'll just complete that. It's twenty six thousand. Close at twenty seven actually. That up. That's only 19,000. And our balance is 300,000. Maybe one run would probably do this. Oh, look, we got uranium. Not sure how safe that is, but uh, let's go for it. Because that will be probably enough, actually. This is a flight regulation announcement. Give us two units as well. So we've got five units on board. Let's see if there's anything else to go to Dromi. No. We will go to the commodities market. And probably get away with buying more uranium. It's, it's not actually as valuable as indium or superconductors. It's like seventeen twenty is going to be the maximum, so we'll just get the indium. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. And it's back to Mawson Dock. You can either go to the transactions, or you can go to the navigation, you can go via Galaxy Map. I mean, we know basically where we need to go. So we'll go back to Mawson Dock and Dromi. Off we go. Hopefully that should be enough. Depending on the prices of Cobras around here.
<laughs> was hoping that wouldn't pop up. Never mind. Right, we're gonna be mass lock because we're in rings here. Saved us. We shall see. We shall see if that, this is going to give us enough money for the Cobra. Because that'll open up a whole new wave of opportunity. Fly without orbit mines, but you can switch them on. So you can see the path of where things are moving. Do that. Over here. Yeah, there. There's the orbit mines. If you want to switch them on. Lots of information there to do with your ship. Stuff. Let's sell our Money does that give us? 344. We need to refuel and then we'll check out the shipyard. So the Sidewinder, Eagle, Caller, Adder, Viper. 
Copeland. Oh, we are just short. We are just short a little bit. Okay, one more mission. That sucks. Let's see if we've got a delivery mission. Oh, we've got quite a few here. Uh, we can actually take the all of these. And that'll give us more than enough. So let's take that one. Maximum capacity. Bye. Hang on a moment. I think I might have miscalculated that. Once we've still got something up on the board, what's this? We've still got two units of uranium. Oh, we have to go there. Ah, okay. So that's a question. We don't need to go to the Galaxy map. But we do need to go to navigation and go to Donary Prospect. Because that will give us the money we need. Yep, always check your stations. Do this little hop over to Drimery. Donary. Then we'll do the little hop over to the other place. Yes, I have no memory. So this is just a little super cruise jump. And then after that we can go to our next location. Okay, we've still my slot. It's actually quite close, so we should be alright. Seems to that's it. So we've got to deliver this uranium. Deliver these agri medicines. We should have enough for Cobra. Still looking for those elusive scans as we travel between these two points. Just nose up slightly. Sometimes grab scans off of ships that are nearby. Certainly. Now that's gone dashed, so that means it's actually behind the moon. So we need to move out and 
until it turns yellow again. Still have to request docking. Usually it's all the little ones lit up. Cab one is actually right in front of me and I can do a landing. I'm using my thrusters here to go up above them. Up above. Question is all the way around. It's actually turning me around. The auto dog is turning me around. But you have to be nose towards the arrows. That was a bit, that was a bit mental. But hey, never mind. So, mission board. Deliver two planets of uranium. Done. So that now gives us 373. What we will do is literally go back to Drogi, no, not to here, station, and down by our Cobra. I was actually thinking of time lapsing a few areas. I don't know what you think. What do you guys think of that? I mean, would you prefer me to just do it? Wow, that's very close. Um, just do it real time, or I could actually change it. Essentially, speed up travel between systems, and stars, and bodies. What do you guys think? Crap, not that close. This is a moon to my right. Essentially, you've got two planetary bodies quite close together. Though. Moon in orbit of a planet with rings. Or is it a moon with rings? Answers on the postcode. the end of the episode. That was the idea. And that's what we're going to stick to, damn it. Oh, got some new data. What we not? Untypical shield scans. Nice.
again. Uh, that comes in later when we start doing engineering. But uh, I'm certainly in no hurry to do engineering. I'm just going to loiter around in the protected systems. For a little while. See how far we can get before it becomes a little bit claustrophobic, to be fair. I know we get a stack of cash if we decide to leave, so that might be an incentive. Plus, that I'd quite like to get out to my squadron. And my own system, owned by our player faction. But, like I say, I'm in no hurry. Not with this account. Be interesting to see how far I can go with the Cobra. Be like the Cobra Challenge. regulations for me advertising that on YouTube, but, yeah, come check me out, uh, I stream on Dangerous, and make Mario Online, and a variety of other random games, it's usually those two. Services. Refuel. Obviously, we always refuel. And we go in the shipyard. By our no stored ship, obviously, because we don't have any. Cobra. 349,000. Now, the problem here is I won't have enough for rebuy. Now that is a danger, but I'm quite confident, so we'll store the current ship and buy the new ship. I'm now the proud owner of a Cobra Mark III. Let's have a look at the Cobra Mark III. She is. She's got little guns at the moment. So it comes with two pulse lasers, which we will get rid of. No utility mounts, which we will fill up. The core internals are all E-rated, and that's what you get. We'll upgrade those. The optional internals, we have 16, 18 tons of cargo. So essentially we almost doubled our cargo when and we will actually increase the ratings on these cargo racks to have more. And we can do the livery. So 
first thing we're going to do is change the name. Cobra Mark III. It's not a very ins or inspiring name, is it? So, I've already decided on a name for this girl. You see what I did there? So this is going to be uh, Bunny 11C. So, essentially, my naming convention is Buck Rabbit Vessel. And then the name of the vessel. And there we go. Now, apparently, because I've got the Commander Edition, I might have a couple of paint jobs. And I do. Oh, that's very pretty, isn't it? And we've got some militaries. Ooh, that's kind of SAS colour. That's nice. And there is actually a sale right now on this date of April the 11th, where you can buy a load of paint jobs at 50%. But we are going to go with the Frontier 25 skin for the Cobra. Ta-da! And there we go. There are other things we can do to it, and uh, in the next episode we'll look at changing that out. But for now, we're going to go up on the surface and check out our new ship. Cheers, people. Just wiggle that about a bit. Wait until that's off, and we'll screenshot that. So, everyone, thank you for watching. There is our new Cobra, and uh, hope to see you again in the next episode of Bug Rabbit's Elite Chronicles. So, it's off for now.